All right, we're back again for uh, a little tabbyware help. Uh, this time I'm going to tell you about the <coughs> different toolbars and what they can do. Uh, a lot of people have uh, expressed some confusion about how to uh, set up the tab sets and the favorites. Uh, I thought it was pretty easy, but I guess if you don't get it, you don't get it. But anyway, here we go. Right here we have the favorites and it says add active folder to favorites so as you can see this is a drop down box and when you are in a folder say my computer for instance and if I put call this home and press this button now as you can see I have home in the drop down so, say I'm on the desktop, and I click home, it is going to make a new tab and browse to my computer, because that's what home refers to. So you can have a unlimited, let's see, if we go, music. And, I've got music, and then add it. Now I have a music. And as you can see, you can make several if you'd like. That's how that works. Unfortunately, there is a bug. The backspace key doesn't work. Uh, I will fix that in the next release. Uh, I'm just trying to collect as much uh, data and bugs and, uh, you know, additions as I can before I start work on 2.1. I know it's kind of a tough bug, but when you hit the backspace key, you go up a directory instead of back here. And it goes for all three, I believe, of these uh, toolbars, which stinks, but it will be fixed in the next version, which I don't know when will be out, but perhaps I'll put out a little subversion with some obvious fixes and no additions. Now the layouts, as you can, uh, as you could guess, it would probably work the same way. So if I want to call this uh, desk music, so I got two desktops and two musics, whatever. I'm just using any name, and I hit the button, and if, say I close all these tabs. Now I go down and click on desk music. Voila! I now have desk music, and as you can see, it opens both sides to a folder in the set. So it's as easy as that, really. Make as many sets as you want. So you can have, say, a work set, a home set, a music set, a game set, wh whatever you want to do. And uh, these folders are automatically all open, so you don't have to browse to any particular folder. You can just set it all up ahead of time and be good to go. Now for the filter. Basically, this is pretty basic. If you type a letter and hit return, it's only going to show entries with a D in them, anywhere in them. So, say you go AD, well, there's only two things in this whole music directory Nelly Furtado and Ryan Add Ums. And then if you remove it, eh, everything comes back. Someone had requested that um, folders not be affected by this. No, I mean, sometimes you're going to want them to be affected sometimes not so it's it's a hard decision really um, I don't think I want to make two filters um, I don't know, maybe maybe shift enter and control enter or something that's just a design decision that I have to make and of course we have the Explorer bar which is your basic thing I'm not gonna really spend too much time on this one thing is that um, if you go to long paths here I did not anticipate that, and it does not switch to long paths up here, so that's going to be another fix, obviously, for 2.1. Now, there's a couple more toolbars that do not default on, which is the drives and the quick launch. As you can see, the quick launch bar is looks like it's nothing. And it is nothing. It is nothing to start. And this is just your basic bar with your uh, all your drives 
network places, desktop, automatically will be put in here. If you have more drives, if you have less drives, less will show up. Even you got your um, removable drives. So that's pretty cool. And this one right here is very unique. Um, you can drop pretty much anything on it. Text document, uh, shortcut, uh, directory, uh, batch file, uh, RAR file, EXEs, and pr pretty much it will fire the program that's associated with this when you click. So I click on the text document. Oh, sorry about that. I get the text document, which has nothing in it. Uh, if I click on this link to Audio City, it will open Audio City. If I click on this folder, it's going to open a new folder with, oops, with that. It's not going to open it. It's going to browse to that folder within the current folder. I also got a request for it to open into a new tab, which I'll look into. Uh, then you got a batch file. I don't even actually want to run that. Uh, RAR file, for instance, obviously it opens WinRAR automatically. And last but not least, you got Tabby file 2, which it's not going to start because I have the one instance checked. And uh, that's it. This is kind of an all purpose toolbar. Use it for whatever you'd like. And of course, you can put them on the sides and the top. That goes for all of them. Except the ones with the fields cannot be put on the sides for obvious reasons. And that's about it. So, hope you learned something. Uh, oh, well, hold on. There's a couple more things. You can also change the toolbar widths. As you can see, the actual width of the uh, edit field is getting bigger. So if you want it a little bigger, you want it a little smaller, well, you can do that. You can also do it on these. And uh, this one. So you're better off clicking right in this area for the change to above. Because this one, for instance, you can clear the filter, delete the filter, and clear the filter list. Because any filter you enter gets entered into this uh, history, which will be session to session. So if you want to put one of these filters back on, that's how you do it. And uh, the only other thing I would mention is that you can delete layout simply by clicking this button. Are you sure you want to delete the favorite home? Yes. So now it's no longer in the drop down. And that's about it. Oh, one more thing. You can right click on these to remove the item from the quick launch bar. So any item you don't want in there, you can remove right down to the fact that it's uh, got nothing in it again. These you can't remove. That's about it. So, hope you learned something.